internet obviously has been a little kind of tough sharing with everybody uh, from their homes. Everybody's working safely. So that's one of the reasons that we have going on. So, uh, but we'll be able to play uh, the video again after the market closes. But um, but let me just uh, let me just do a quick audio check. Can everyone hear me okay? Just want to do a quick audio check. All right. Okay. All right. Let me just share my screen, everyone, and we're gonna get started. Okay. Let me just get this. Uh, Video cam up there. Can everybody see okay with the video cam? Everybody see me loud and clear? All good, Eugene? Mark? Okay, perfect. All right, so welcome, everybody. My name is Fausto Puglisi. I'm the uh, founder and president of Cyber Train University. Welcome to my home. Unfortunately, uh, there's some good things and bad things about it. Bad things is that we're, uh, with the coronavirus, we're based out in New York, so it's been really, really kind of hard. Everybody's working remotely, but we're doing the best that we can. The good news is that we are live, and guess what? If I could do from home, you could do from home. So what we're going to hear, we're going to talk a lot about is we're going to talk about how to become a successful day trader in just 30 days. Now, that sounds pretty, you know, uh, gutsy to say something like that. I mean, how is that even possible? 30 days? Are you kidding me? Well, let me tell you why that is. Have you ever gone to the doctor? Um, and... Ever a doctor put you on medication? And I always like to use this metaphor because I think we kind of relate to it. So put you on the doctor, doctor put you on medication and you're on it for two weeks, nothing happens, three weeks, you're getting worse. You know, a month goes by, nothing goes happen. So guess what? You got two choices. Get on new medication or you better find a new doctor, okay? Because it shouldn't take that long to get well at it. Now, to be successful, I'm not talking about now you could retire and replace your job, but you should be seeing progress. You know, if you start a diet and it's been 30 days and you follow it by the book, you should be doing well. You should be losing weight, you know? But if you keep going to McDonald's and, you know, and keep cheating here and there and maybe once in a while have a, you know, a scotch or, you know, getting, you know, whatever it may be, that obviously there's no one to blame but yourself. But if you follow the diet, it should be working. Now, the big thing that I like to talk about and explain is, um, you know, why, where am I going with this? Well, there are a lot of you here that have taken courses with other people. There are some of you here that are futures traders, forex traders, options traders, swing trading. And my thing is this, that if you're not making money like or seeing any progress, you know, after doing it for so long, you should maybe consider trading a different market. Uh, I was just talking to the other, um, a, month, a month ago to a student that is, uh, that's, a, that's, a, that's a, tr a student of ours. And it always sticks out to me. And he told me something which kind of like try to convert him to how to trade stocks. He says, Faust, I took a course on options. And um, I'm not here to bash any company. I'm not going to say who they are, but they are well known. And you know what's so disturbing that they said to him? They told him that you should be on demo mode for about a year before you start trading live. And I'm talking about, think about this. I'm, do you, did, and I'm like, did you hear what they basically told you? A year? A year? Are you kidding me? Well, how are you going to pay your bills? Is it just to satisfy and justify to pay, you know, pay them off? I, I don't get it. A year, if a doctor says that, he's going to put me on medication, and I'm not going to see any, any, uh, any, any, you know, be relieved of the flu at the, after a year. Obviously, there's no what he's talking about. So the thing is this. Some of you are here because you tried different markets. Some of you are and, and not doing very well, or you're breaking even. Um, some of you want to get into this business, um, but you don't know how to get started. Or oh, you're nervous that's going to be a long-term process. Well, trust me, it's not that bad, okay? It's not going to take you that long. And this is how I'm going to show you. What we're going to talk about today is we're going to talk about day trading. I'm going to talk about how to make a living doing it. And it's not going to take you long. And why people fail doing it. Because it's all about knowing how to find those stocks 
and using the right tools, which is level three and level four. Okay. Some people look at it like, wait a minute, I never, heard, there's a level three. Holy crap. I'm only using level two. I didn't even know there's something even better than that. Yeah. Okay. Well, anyone here an iPhone? Well, you're stuck on the iPhone one. There is an iPhone 10. Okay. Uh, probably no one ever talked to you about it. No one ever taught you about it, but guess what? When it comes to trading, what you're about to see is going to be extremely disturbing because you're going to wish that you would have learned this a long, long time ago. Um, but once again, what the topic for today is how to be successful in 30 days in, in, in trading. Well, the first thing you have to understand is look where you started and where you are right now. And are you making money yet? Because if you're not, I'm telling you right now, it's time to find a new mentor, a new school, or a new career in trading. So just to let you know a little bit about me, ladies and gentlemen, this is a photograph of, um, you know, of regarding one of the traders challenges I did. Actually, that was uh, uh, the competitor in that one. I think that was uh, uh, pristine. That was pristine out there. And uh, that's actually was filmed from the A&E channel. They actually did a whole documentary on it. You can actually watch it on our YouTube channel. Uh, a whole documentary about uh, day trading. But this is one of several challenges that I've done. And, and basically over the years, um, I, I, I went up against some of the greatest schools in the industry and I beat every single one of them. Now, does that make you money? No, I'm not here to brag. I'm not here to put feathers in my cap because at the end of the day, that does not make you money. Me showing you my account papers right now on my form does not make you money. You know what that does? It just pisses you off. Okay. And not only that, but how do you know they're real? So let me tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to teach you guys about how to trade successfully. And then at the end of this presentation, I'm going to invite every single one of you to come in my trading room so I could show you not how great I am, but how great I meet other traders. I want you to understand that I'm in the business to not just also help and teach people, but I'm also in the business because I'm looking to make money with my traders. You see, I teach because I'm looking for people I could teach that I could trade with. That's how trading works. It's not about, here's a course, go figure it out. Here's 800 hours of videos and let me know how that works out for you. Listen, you know, you're not going to watch 800 hours of videos. Okay. You're not going to be, you need to know how to play the game. But the reason why I teach is exactly what that photograph that you see right now what was broadcast on the front page of Forbes, a bunch of kids tormenting Wall Street because I was one of those kids. And the way I learned is you got to be in an office environment. You got to learn from mentors and you got to train people around you to trade just like you. So as much as I'm going to show you a couple of our strategies, I just want you to understand there's two parts to being a successful trader. You got to have a good mentor and you got to have you got to surround yourself with good traders that learn the same, um, the same style so you could trade with. So if you feel like you're that person, well, let's going to get right into it. And let's start learning. But before we do that, I want to do a quick poll question. So I just know a little bit about, about everybody here. So I know you kind of trade you are. And if you notice, there's a poll question coming up right now. And um, just let me know. Are you stock traders, futures, Forex, options? Let me know. And we're going to share this poll with everyone. Just waiting for you guys to fill this out. Now, I'm going to say this all the time. Guys, don't be scared. No one's going to rat you out. You could sit there. You could do a poll. You know, I'm still waiting for the people to call me up with those poll questions, you know, uh, on TV. Oh, this guy is going to win the president. This guy... Uh, most people don't like this uh, thing. I, I never got one of those. I don't know who they're calling, but now here's your chance to see how you compare to everybody else. Okay. So I'm going to exit the poll. I'm going to share the results. Okay. So it looks like we have a lot of stock traders, 64%, uh, 60% 60 of you. We got some option traders, futures, and Forex. So you see where you fit. Now, listen, every one of you here have to look at one very important thing. Um, and I have one question in the chat room. Okay. And by the way, nobody can read anybody's chat. Okay. Are you guys making money? You know, what, what you're doing? Be honest. Yes, no, breaking even, options trades. Chris says no. Okay. Thanks for being honest. Tope says yes. 
Beginner, Mike says no. Ruben says no. Carlson says yes. You are, and but you want to make more. Yes, in swing trading and option trades, not yet in day trading. Okay. Yes, but I, but I got lucky. I like that, Ke uh, Keith. Kenneth, I'm sorry, Kenneth. You can want to make more. Not really, just pennies, Alan's saying. Okay. A little bit. So basic pennies. Okay, so listen. Like I said earlier, this is very important, but you got to go away with this. If you're not meet, meeting your goal, then you should not continue uh, with that, what you're doing right now, because you're not going to go anywhere. But sometimes it takes a couple of people to listen to before you hit a nerve and say, you know what? That makes sense. That I understand. Okay. So let me just tell you a little about myself. I am a day trader. What exactly does that mean? That means I, I, all I care about is just making money for the day. I don't care what I trade. I don't want to know what I trade. I don't need to analyze the trade. My goal is just to make X amount of dollars, no matter what I find. And then I go home, make a, I make a nice little dinner. One of my hobbies, I might go outside, do some gardening. Cause actually that's what I went to school for, but that told me I'm never going to be rich doing it. So now I just make my house look nice. Maybe go play, take care of my chickens out a little bit, but that's about it. That's my life. Okay. But it's not a full-time job. Day trading. We just like right now, the market's open. You're not trading. No, I only trade an hour in the morning and an, and an, and an hour at the close. And if I make do really well in the morning, like I did today, I trade a stock called DADA. That's about it. I don't need to trade anymore. So that's basically what, it, what day trading is. You're just basically trading momentum. You're getting in, you're getting out. Now, a lot of people get a little skeptical about day trading. Like, ooh, that's scary. I heard you lose. That's very risky. You know what? You know what risky is? Options trading. You know what's risky? Um, swing trading. Why? Because you're holding positions overnight. When you're doing options, especially in today's market, you're dealing with a very big spread. Um, not that you can't make money with it. It's just the way I was trained is that what happens over the course of the day is what trickles down into a swing trade. And what trickles down into a swing trade might trickle down to an options trade. So if you don't even know how to trade the stock, how the hell do you think you're going to know what stock to swing or even do an option? Oh, I, I trade, I, I do the spies. I do the spies. You know, I don't even trade the spies. Why would I trade the, uh, the spies when everybody else trades that market? And you know what? You want, you want me to prove it to you? You let me know how you're doing with it right now. Okay? Did you ever hear of a stock called ALPN? Um, B-O-X-L. C-I-M-E. D-A-D-A. -D -A. You know what they all have in common, common? Four letters. Okay? But you know what they have more in common? They don't make you risk a lot of money. And they have great buying opportunity out there. It's all about making money. That's about it. So how tra day traders become very successful? Well, listen, this is, the, this is basically the strategy you have to understand. Um, and this is a little bit of a psychology part of it, okay? Number one, you got to have the right brokerage firm, okay? So forget about like me going through that. This is why people, you know, 90% of the people fail. They're trying to do this on TD Meritrade. They're trying to do this on you know, E-Trade. First of all, you can't run a successful business dealing with the local bus service. I know it's cheap. I know you might want to buy your own car and insurance, but listen, you're running a business and you can't run a business on someone else's, on someone else's dime, okay? And by the way, when you come to my trading room, you'll see that these guys are just basically ripping you off. Best way to figure it out, why, why are... Uh, you know, why they charge you free tickets. Why, what, what's the purpose of that? You know why? Because they're making money off you. That's what it is. They're trading against you. you Got to have the right trading subsystem. By the way, let me get my pointer right here so you guys can follow along. There we go. Um, you got you to gotta look for those stocks that have, the, that, that have the least amount of risk with the high amount of reward. You know, not every stock is what we call tradable. You know, you want to trade something that you don't have to invest a lot of money in it that has very good spreads. You know, these are things we're going to point out to you when you come in the trading room. Um, you got to trade early. You know, that's where the action comes in. Some of you trade futures. You know, like the best time to trade is during the London exchange. You know, there are certain times. This is not something you sit here all full day. Otherwise, you're going to blow up your account. 
Most of the money we make is in pre-market. People ask me, they're like, wow, how the hell do you trade pre-market? You know what? You're going to figure that one out when you come into the trading room. But I'm just telling you, these are just basically the things that make people very successful in day trading. Working off your big percentage gainers and losers list. You know, people are like, how did you find that stock? Yo, D C M C C M I. That stock got destroyed yesterday. What, 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 how, where did you find it? What, was it a short? Got to go through the big percentage gainers. Why is it down? Who ran it down? I don't care. I don't want to know. It's none of my business. I'm not qualified to figure and be an analyst. So people are like, how do you trade things that you don't care? Because God, by the time I buy it, and by the time I sell it, and I make my, you know, what average day traders do, make $1,000 a day. You think I care after I sold something, what happens to it? It's irrelevant. But also you have to understand, which is a very important tool right here on the bottom. You have to work with successful traders. If you're not working with successful traders, you're trading blind. That's where it comes down to it. By the way, can everyone hear okay? Just I see some people that are having some audio issues. Can everybody hear loud and clear? Just want to do a quick audio check. Just give me a chat. Okay. I guess some people got their mics off. <laughs> All right. Can't help everybody. All right. So why do most traders fail in trading? Well, listen, you want to know what the 30-day 30 30 rule is? They mix, they mix all different types of trades. Oh, let me try day trading. Oh, let me try swing trading. Let me do options. Oh, I lost for the day. They're just jumping around, okay? They don't focus on one thing. They read too many damn books. Listen, I'm an author. It's called How to Beat Market Makers in Their Own Game. Honestly, I really didn't care about writing a book. I was just forced to by Wiley. They said, listen, we need a day trading book. We need a day trading book. Could you please write one? There's none out there. I'm like, all right, whatever. I don't make any money on a book. You know, I'm not in the book business, but everybody likes to read books. But I'm telling you, people, I'm never a fan of it because books do not talk back to you. And you can make them look, you can make them sound amazing. But at the end of the day, it does not make you money. Um, they try to find the cheapest tickets out there. They think like, listen, when I traded, when I first started, I used to pay $20 a trade. It cost me $40 to get in and out of it. People can't even make money paying $2 a ticket. Okay? It's not about having cheap tickets. It's, ha it's having the right platform. Okay? Another people, reason why people fail and, and can't be successful after 30 days. They trade by themselves. They're not sharing ideas with people. They're all trading, you know, it's all, you know, you ever heard the phrase, two heads are better than one? Okay. I'm, I, I love, by the way, I have so many hobbies and you probably, if you watch me on my Instagram, YouTube, I, I mean, listen, you think I can, you think I go out there and I go fishing by myself? I, you know, when you got more lines in the water, you got more opportunities. You know what I mean? Um, another reason why people fail, you can't trade with, with unsuccessful traders. Let me tell you something very important that you're going to learn when you come into my trading room. I've been doing this for 25 years and I'm going to constantly keep repeating that because no one probably ever even knew that we've been around that long. I actually started the first school in the industry. Why I've been around so long, you know, is another uh, conversation itself. But you know what's very, what you're going to be shocked? When you come in my trading room, I don't have a thousand traders, 2000 traders. Believe me, if I want to, I could in a snap of the finger, but I don't want to because not everybody here really qualifies to trade. I'll be honest with you. Do I want to take your money? Can I get you to buy something? Absolutely. Is, is it the right thing to do? You're sure not. I was actually in a meeting. Um, I was in a conference with a bunch of people in my industry and, uh, Two, you know, two guys, uh, two people in, uh, I'm not going to mention their schools, but you know what they told me, which I thought was so ironic. They said, you know, if, you, if you're going to be in this industry, you got to have good lawyers. I'm like, good lawyers? But what the hell do you need good lawyers for? You know what I mean? I've been doing it for 25 years. I never needed a lawyer, knock on wood, okay? They're like, oh, you need good lawyers. Well, no wonder why you got good lawyers. You probably put every Tom, Dick, and Harry in your room. People that really don't qualify to be in there. You know, if I, if I was in Harvard... You know, I, was at, I, I own Harvard University, and I started taking people with 65, uh, a, a 65 average. 
And it says, oh, yeah, yeah, you want, you got 70,000? No problem. Uh, uh, you could come to my school. You come to Harvard. You know they're not going to pass. The guy's like, why would you accept me in the room? You know I'm not qualified. You know, I want my money back. You know? So, you know, there's a reason why people succeed and don't succeed in trading. Another big failure rate, getting yourself involved with, you know, with the wrong person, you know, um, that's out there and trying to sell you the dream, you know, which is something that is totally wrong. One of the biggest things that you're going to, that Cyber Trade University does teach you, which I thought is probably this one. Don't know how to take losses. You know, you always see people like bragging how much money they make, which kind of makes you think like, wow, if he could do it, I could do it. You know what? It's not about making money. You know what everyone's biggest problem is? They don't know how to take a loss. Losers is what kills people, okay? You're one trade away from blowing up your account. I, hell, I just spoke to someone um, – about an hour ago before we, we started this meeting, guy wants to be a student. Um, and I spoke to him and he just says, you know, Fausto, I start, I did this a long time ago. I, I, I was in one trade. I'll never forget it. I lost $70,000 on that trade. 70,000. Here's a guy that's averaging about 300, 500 a day. He lost 70,000. I'm like, how the hell did you lose that much money? Uh, I don't even really want to talk about it. You know, I get it. I get it. But you damn well better learn it. And you know what? He came back and he, you know, he, you know, he got back into it. You don't want to be blowing up your accounts. You got to know how to make quick decisions when it comes to trading. Because we have something that we teach. It's called a 30-second rule. 30-second rule. It means if you're not profitable within 30 seconds, it's probably a losing trade. And how do you know that? You do your journals. Okay? Once again, the purpose of the topic of this, this, this event is about having a game plan, being successful in 30 days. And this is the main reason. Everything you see up here is the reason why people fail. They're not, and they're not patient. They're like, I, I got to make money. This ain't Las Vegas. This ain't like go all in, you know, black or red on, on the roulette table. It takes time. It takes patience. You're going to lose in trading. And that's a good thing. You know why? Because if you know why you lost, you're not going to do it again. You have to learn and you need to know when to hold and when to fold. But how do you do that? By surrounding yourself with good mentors, a good trainer, and you know, putting the time in when it's really needed, which is in classroom. And then, like I said, like the bottom one says, have the right ed education. Let's talk about uh, Nicola. Nicola. By the way, did anyone see the stock Nikola? Anybody saw this stock? The stock we traded last week. And you know what? Got so much attention. It was all over TV. Okay. Um, I actually uh, posted, I, I made a I made about I didn't make actually I posted it was a twelve thousand dollar profit. Actually it was a it was a it was a an eighteen thousand dollar profit in Nikola that I traded. Yes, from a cyber trading, you made money, Carlson? Okay, good. So anyway, here's, uh, you could see, these are the chats. By the way, you're going to get to meet all these people in our trading room. Uh, you could see Donald made 250. Chuck made a buck 25. Uh, Matthew made 250. Um, I was plus 11 because I owned it at 53. Um, you can see all these people, how they made money. Next stop, next resist. Stock went to $90, okay? So anyway, um, how do you find stocks like Nikola? Okay. And why did it go up so much? Where did it come from? Well, it all comes from looking at the right place and, you know, understanding where the money is, finding the orders. You won. And what you won. And we saw this one yesterday. This is even better. Nine o'clock this morning, the stock started at five dollars. By three o'clock, it was already at forty. Forty dollars? Are you kidding me? That's almost a thousand percent. By the way, look at everyone that traded the stock. Don't don't count my money. I'm not here to brag. I'm not here to talk about. It. These are um, engineers, bakers, uh, uh, 
what do we got? We got a uh, professors, grandmas, grandpas. These are people just like you. And they're working together and they're trading together. You know what I mean? Here, look, Greg, he bought it at 942. He made, you know, he, he, he made $2 on it. Unfortunately, he went to 40, but you know what? $2 on a thousand shares, that's a $2,000 profit. Something wrong with that? Anything wrong with that? Out at six, you know, Dominic R. You're going to see all these people, ladies and gentlemen. So anyway, how do we know where they're going up and going down? Once again, once you get past the psychology part of it and find a good school and a good team, now you need to know what the strategy is, okay? So I'm going to tell you what our strategy here at Cybertrain University is. Now, like I said earlier, um, I know there's some people just logging in late, um, but when I started into trading, I started when I was 22 years old. Um, I blew up no more, probably worse than some of you in accounts. And, uh, you know, being a first generation Italian, my parents came here with $20 in their pocket. And my dad always taught me, I come from, I come from middle class America, uh, was never given anything. I had to work hard for everything I earned. And, you know, to lose money was really, really, really depressing, you know, because I worked for it, you know, but you know, living in New York, I'm like, but why is like everybody talking about the Wall Street? Why do people make so much money? Why are they making money and I'm not? And then it was like a light bulb. It's because who really trained me? Who really? All of a sudden, you're like you're because I, I read a couple of books and I got CNBC, you know, and um, like what what did, what are they going to teach me that I'm, I don't know already? Okay, now listen. I gotta, you gotta give me a little, a little credit. I mean, I was 22 years old. I mean, I was an ignorant 22 year old kid, but you're not 22 year olds. You, you, you got some grown women and men here. You, you work at very successful companies. You've done very well for yourself. And let me tell you what you're about to learn. When I took my first step into a trading room, I'm like, I get it. Now I know why everybody loses money in trading. Now I know why brokerage firms are giving cheap tickets because they know they're taking the bet you're going to lose. It's because you don't have the right tools and you didn't have the right education. When I start showing you right now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm telling you, you're going to get very disturbed because two things are going to really piss you off. Number one, you're going to be mad that the guy who trained you never taught you this. And two, you're going to, you're going to realize that everything you've done in the past is now going to make sense. Now, listen, it's okay. You're here now and we're going to talk about it. But the thing is this, it's never too late to learn, especially with the whole coronavirus thing that's going on. You know, some of you added jobs. I mean, where's a better place than sit there and trade? Who the hell wants to go back to work, you know, and deal with traffic and headaches and stuff like that. So what we're going to look at right now is what's going to change everything is I'm going to show you how to follow the market makers, follow the orders. All right. So now what we got right here is we got three different views of how we could see a, um, an order, like see what a stock is trading at. So you got level one, level two, and level three. Okay. Now, does anyone here, by the way, look, actually, let me do a quick poll. Um, let me do a quick cool poll over here. Uh, does anyone here have level three quotes? By the way, if you're a student of mine, please don't answer this question, you know, because I want to see what, the, what the people hear that who don't, who don't know. Does anyone here have level three? Not, okay, if you're not sure, I'll take that as a no, okay? All right, so let me end this poll. Let me share it with everybody. And it looks like 80% of you don't have it. Okay. That's okay. That's okay. We're going to fix this problem. All right. So what we got right here, level one, let me explain to you in detail because it's going to make a lot more sense when we start showing you how we follow the money. So level one is basically you go on Google, you go on your E-Trade account, whatever it is, and you just want to know what the quote of the stock is. Like what's American Airlines trading? So you're at $16.95. That's basically level one. All right. Now, what is level two? Level two was big in the 90s. It's, it's outdated. I mean, I, they, they were supposed to get rid of it a long time ago, but 
I don't know, some people, because they give it to free, it's got all those nice colors and old glitzy lights. They think it's good. So anyway, you got, um, you got the buyers on the left and you got the sellers on the right and you got three columns. You got the market maker ID. That's what MMID means. You got the, the price that he wants to buy it for and you got the size. Everything there is multiplied by 100. Now, the problem with level two is back in the 90s, you were able to see all the brokerage firms. Now you're not seeing brokerage firms. Now you're seeing something that's called ECN books. That's basically what that is. So you don't know who's buying or who's selling it. You're just looking at what the best bid is on that exchange, like NASDAQ. Um, you got 1,300 shares here at $16.62. You know, $16 the problem is that there are a lot more other people out there that are using this book that you're not seeing level two. So basically, if you're using level two, you're wasting your time, okay? It's worthless. Now, let's go hop over here on NASDAQ Total View. Has any of you guys ever heard of NASDAQ Total View before? Uh, no, Tim. Uh, level, Thinkorswim does not offer level three. Does anybody here have NASDAQ Total View ever heard of it? Um, actually, if you go on, actually, at the end of this presentation, we're going to play a video of me on NASDAQ. I was at the exchange. I'm there. I'm a, I'm a regular guest. I talk a lot about NASDAQ Total View. And, uh, you know, but I'm going to explain to you very briefly what it is. So basically, NASDAQ is a, uh, an exchange, which we all know. And they have something that's called a book. And their book is where you would post, you know, all the bids and offers. Okay. Everybody, if you wanted to trade American Airlines and you go to the NASDAQ exchange because it's trading there, you could see all the buys and all the sells at every price, which is awesome, which is awesome. So now you're getting, you, you, you know, how many orders are out there, how many shares at that price, everything. Great, great video. Okay. Great, uh, great, uh, you know, data. Now, my question to you is this, everybody. And this is a very important question. I'm going to ask everybody. If you can't answer this question, like I told you, you shouldn't be trading. So my question to you is this. How do stocks go up and go down in the market? Can everyone answer that question? Alan says, I never heard of it until you mentioned it. Okay, well, thank you very much, Alan. Um, but my question to you, Alan, everybody else, Mark, Ken, Tim, how do stocks go up and go down? Paul's getting a little technical. He's saying imbalance of buyers and sellers. It's, it's, it's very simple. Could everybody just write, you know, supply and demand or just write BNS and not the BNS you're thinking of. It's buyers and sellers. Buyers and sellers. Just write BNS. So I know you're alive. Thanks, Brad. Thanks, Tope. Okay. Robert, Alan. Very good. What about you, Ann? I haven't heard from you. Guy, Guy Jones, and hear from you. Don't be shy. I mean, I, like I said, guys, if you don't talk, that's another reason why you shouldn't be trading also. Don't be scared. Don't be afraid to type. I mean, I don't know maybe some of you know good typers, but you have to be able to let us know because if you're going to trade with me and I don't know you're in a position, I can't help you. All right? So anyway, um, it's all about buyers and sellers. Okay? Now, do you know where the buyers and sellers are in the stock that you're trading? Do you even know where they are? I mean, you think about this for a second. If you could see big orders, you know, on, on a stock, that would help explain to you understanding where support and resistance level is. Let's look at one stock right here, okay? So we're looking at uh, SPEC. And here at 10 o'clock this morning, the stock ran from 1825 all the way up to about 1960, came right back down all the way down to 11.30 at 18.25, to some coincidental, it stopped there again. And it went right back to 19.40. Now, why would the stock stop at 18.25? Why didn't it go to 15? Why didn't it go to 17? Why 18.25? Can anybody answer that? Why would it ever stop at that price? That's right, right, Mark? Everyone else? Buyers. It's not a tough question. There must have been buyers, must have been a demand there. Okay, the problem is when you look at a chart, 
You can't see that. What you need to see is here. Look over here in the book viewer. You look at shares, you work your way down, and what do you know? Right there, ladies and gentlemen, at 1825, there was a 102,000 share buyer out there. Who do you think can make more of a, uh, more of a support level? The 100 share buyer? The 900 share buyer? The 50 share buyer? Now, there's somebody out there buying $1.8 million worth of stock. How many shares do you trade? Anyone out there put 100,000 share orders out there? In an idea? Anyone? <laughs> Mark's laughing out loud. Hey, listen. It's not a dumb question. It's a serious question. I, of course you don't. But wouldn't it be nice to see that? Because guess what? If you saw that and you knew it was out there, you could have been the lucky ones and could have probably bought maybe at 1826 or 27 right in front of that guy and sold it, you know, two hours later at 1940 and make yourself a good dollar, thousand dollars, quarter million dollars a year. That's what it just comes down to. Now, what about a resistance levels? Here you have a stock. Look at this one. Macy's. Heard of it? Nice little, they do a beautiful Thanksgiving parade in Manhattan. Um, stock goes from 780 all the way up to about 850. Well, that's a pretty big run up in an hour and a half. I mean, you do the math, 780 to 850, that's a 70 cent move. On 1,000 shares, $7,000, sounds like, not a lot of money too, right? But why did it stop at 850? Why didn't it go to nine? Why didn't it stop at, you know, why didn't it, why didn't it stop at, you know, 810 and continue to go higher? Okay, what made it stop and tank? Well, when you look over here on the sell side, you got sellers 2,000, 1,000, 150. But right here, when you get right around 850, and let me just get my, maybe this might help a little bit too. Right around here, you look at this right here, you got 9,000 shares, 37,000 shares, and 8,000 shares right between those two numbers. And that, fellow traders, would explain why you got to have a game plan before it gets there because you know what's going to happen when it hits those people. You know, they're sellers, and those are all big sellers, and that's what we call program trading, okay? Now, is everybody following along so far? Any questions? I'm sitting here talking. I can't believe 40 minutes already into this. we got 20 more minutes left. So hopefully you guys are catching along. Any questions so far? Anybody confused? Let me turn my air. I'm getting, I'm getting myself hot in here. Um, how do we get total view? Uh, Tope, listen, that's the least of your problems right now. Don't even worry about getting it. I mean, you can get it on the NASDAQ website, but I'd rather you not buy it until, because I'm going to sell, I'm, I want you to buy something cheaper than Total View. Because um, I got to show you how it works in the real market conditions, okay? So let me change the slide here. All right. Uh, Greg's question is, how do you find the big orders? Well, because we use something called level three, which is total view. How does total view work on bookmap? Okay, great question, John. So bookmap, we call it here level four. And we'll actually show you that um, in our, I mean, we'll show you that in our trading room. That, that is something totally different. Right now, what I'm showing you is kindergarten stuff. What you're talking about, now we're getting to the eighth grade. Okay, so- there's a lot of people just don't even realize supply and demand has to it, but there is a very big difference. Not that much, John, versus one versus the other, but, uh, but that's something that we, we save for the trading room. Right now, I'm just trying to convince people here how to make money, that you should be making money in 30 days, get into a market. Number two, you know, what you're doing wrong. And number three, let's get involved and start making money with this whole big rally that we've been having in the market lately. Um, it's just the next Tope says, uh, level four is determined, um, uh, is determined by what please. It's just another layer of more data that you're not getting. That's what it is. Okay. 
So now let's look at this stock right here. All right, let's do a quick poll question. All right, love these polls. Uh, okay, so the poll is we launched the poll. All right, so um, is this stock going up or down? Let's see how you guys answer this question. By the way, it should be a, it should be a quick question. You got to hit it quick. You got to hit it quick. The first thing that comes in your mind, quick. What do you think? Right away. Up or down? No if, ends, buts. You got red light, you got green light. What do you do? Need an indicator to tell you that? You know what needs to be done. I'm still shocked that there's like a few people still not answering this question. If you can't answer this question, you damn well better quit trading. I mean, I'm just being honest with you. I'm trying to save your life. All right, let's end the poll because I can't wait for all the people. I'm going to share the results. All right, so I still can't. You know what? It's, you know, I ask this question all the time. I still can't figure this out. How in the hell you got 6% of the people in there think it's going up? I, I mean, I don't know who you are, but I mean, I'm sharing the results. Six, six of you think it's going. How in the hell do you think this thing's going? This thing is going straight down. I, I still can't figure this out. So anyway. If you said it was going down, congratulations. You just made 95% of the profit. For one of you, the 5 6%, I, I mean, I'll be honest with you, you should quit trading right now. I'm just, I, I'm not making any money off this thing, okay? I'm doing you a favor, all right? Now, for the 94% that passed the first test, now the second question I have to you is this. When will the stock go up? What do we need? How do we know? I mean, this thing's not going to zero, right? Like, what do we need for this thing to go up? Tim says, I thought there might be a big buyer. You see, but you thought wrong, Tim. That wasn't the question. The question is, what is the trend of the stock? Is it going up or going down? That's really the question. Okay, so now, everybody here is saying it perfectly. You need buyers, right? You need buyers. Now, this is where people make a mistake when it comes to trading. Do you see buyers on a chart? You see any buyers here? No. Is there an indicator that tells you where there's buyers? I mean, there's so many indicators. Is there any indicators out there that tell you where the buyers? No. Okay. So now you're not a leader. Now you're a lagger. You got to be a leader. You have to know how to predict before it gets there. Okay. So I'm going to change the slide right here. And we're going to look at the NASDAQ book viewer. And I'm looking for buyers. Now, without looking at a chart, without looking at any heat seekers and some crazy funky indicator that some mathematician made and trying to sell you and point it over to you and, or some fancy book. Listen, I'm not here to bash people, but I'm here to tell you this. Let's look at, let's look at, let's go right to NASDAQ. Let's just look at the buyers. Let's see, and who's out there. And right there, you could see it. Clear as day. There are 73. Hold on. There are 73 orders out there around the world that are trading on the NASDAQ that make up 219,000 shares at $12.60. Who are you going to trust more? The buyer of 800, the buyer of 300, or the buyer of 219,000. And you're talking 73 different people around the world have orders at that price. What do you think? So what do you think that, what do you think that when we get to 1260 is going to become? What do you guys think? Support level, right, Mark? Right? Could anyone disagree? I mean, are you going to question that guy? By the way, um, I know some of you ask me, uh, I heard about these are fake orders. Listen, we're gonna, I'm going to squash that whole fake news uh, order thing in about the next few moments, okay? Because like that, that really bothers me. Um, so here's the chart. Remember we were looking at the stock going down? Well, guess what? You were right it was going down, but the idea is not to see what happened in the past. It's to see what happened in the future. So we know there's a buyer out here, and look what happened right after 1030. The stock hit it for about, I don't know, about almost 20, 30 minutes. And then boom, the thing just started going up. 
right back to 1380. I mean, you do the math. You see the buyers out there. He's still out there. And you're probably wondering, well, why he went up? Well, I don't know. Maybe he decided he doesn't want to sell it, buy it anymore. Maybe he went out there and he, he executed all the sellers. I mean, the buyers. I mean, I'm sorry, the sellers. From he's a buyer. He's, that's a limit order. If he decided, eh, I want to do a market order. He's probably the guy who ran it up. But I'm going to question him and say, ah, oh, this guy doesn't know what he's talking about. Yeah. You let me know how that works out for you. Okay. And the next, uh, next week's webinar. Does interactive brokers provide total? Uh, Greg, I don't know what, I don't do business with interactive brokers. Those are probably the one, very few companies I, I'm involved with. I don't know. Um, but I know a lot of them do do out there. And by the way, I'm not here to talk about broker services. That's your job. Okay. It's your job to call your broker and says, Hey, you know what? I just took a course with uh, a day trader, you know, um, and he taught me, you know, about something called NASDAQ total view. Do you have it? And I tell you nine out of 10 times, you're probably going to get some, somebody on there that has no idea what you're talking about. And right off the bat, that should probably help answer. You got the wrong brokerage account. Okay. Now let's, let's look at this one. Matt says, I'm laughing out loud. Matt, I, I, you know what? I, I just, I'm telling you, I deal with this all the time and it bothers me because I'm like, there are over 25 million people in this world that trade. Okay. Hundreds of thousands of day trading every day. And you know, it's just like, it's, it really is the greatest job in the world. You have, you are your own boss. You can come and go whenever you please. You can do this anywhere in the world. If you've done your homework, you probably see some people very successful at it. Um, but you got to find the right mentor and they can teach you the right tools. You know, sometimes I feel a lot of people teach people a little bit more advanced than what they should be learning. But right now I'm just trying to, I know don't take this offensive, but this is like kindergarten stuff. Okay. But it makes sense. It just makes sense. It's like, you know, this is one plus one equals two. It's like, I know that already, but this is basically the same thing in trading terminology. This is one plus one. Imagine when I start teaching you, you know, 10 times, you know, 20. And like, wow, you know, numbers start changing, more money. You probably get it like, oh, now I get the math. Now we could talk about subtraction and division. Yeah. But you got to know the basics, the fundamentals of it. Let's look at this stock right here. Where is the resistance on Snapchat? Heard of the company? Stock's been having a nice little run up. But you didn't make any money until you sold the stock. You know how many times people are sitting there counting their their stock, like, oh, look, I'm up like $2, $5. And then they go back to them like, oh, how'd you do on this? Oh, I end up losing. How did you lose? You were up. Oh, I didn't take the profit. You got to have a game plan. And if you said the right answer is 20, if you had a great, if you, if you, if you got in there, 20 is the resistance. Five, 58,000 share seller, 71 different people are out there negotiating to sell the stock. Not, not two. Not one, not four, 71 people around the world that are trading Snap have limit orders to get out at $20. Are you going to question that? Because if you are, let me know how that works out for you. Because it really didn't work, work out too well, you know, with the 90% of the people in this world that still think like, oh, I, I love Snapchat. Yeah, okay, great. But you're not in the company of loving a company. You're, doing, you're, in, the, you're in this business to make money. Because everybody here looks at the stock and be like, oh, it's a double, oh, now I get, it's a double top, you know, oh, yeah, you know, the trend is up, it's at the highs, oh, but it, you know, it just got a good report on Fox Business, the CEO was on CNBC, listen, you could do whatever you want, at the end of the day, you didn't look at the guy out there, guess what, your stock went from 20 down to 1920, now, that nice little 40, 50 cent profit is now an 80 cent loss. Mark said it's the whole number. Mark, I mean, listen, forget about the whole number thing right now. What's important is this, is that that order is out there. There's a whole philosophy behind that too, Mark, which I'm not going to get into detail. But at the end of the day, you got to be able to follow the money. Listen, without total view or with total view, let me just show you what we got going on right here. These are two pictures that are on the New York Stock Exchange. By the way, does anybody here use indicators? Anybody use indicators, charts on indicators? Matt, you do. Tope, you do. Okay. Anyone else? Come on. Tim, yes. Great, great. 
Who are the best traders in the world? You're looking at them right on the floor of the exchange. I mean, they must be because they wouldn't have a job there if they didn't, right? Okay. Could you tell me, looking around this, these pictures over here, do you see any, you see any charts? Do you see any indicators? Anybody see anything? All numbers, right, Chris? All numbers. So if they, the best people in the industry, are looking at numbers, then why in the hell are you using indicators? Because, you know, it, it has a sexy name to it. Because it's got these nice, pretty color lines to it. You know, listen, it works for swing trading. It works for investing. But if you want to learn, I know a lot of people want to day trade. They love the whole story behind it. You're in cash at the end of the day. You know, you could sleep good at night. Why don't you, don't take my word for it. Take their word for it. By the way, I even had, you know, uh, um, I had a party on the New York Stock Exchange. I had a whole cocktail reception on it, Okay. I had all my students take a walk down there. And I says, guys, you know, go, and, go look around. Count, tell me how many, how many charts you find. You might found a couple, you know, but maybe like 1% of the screens have charts on them. It's all about following the money. So um, John's question, can you scan with Book Viewer to find stocks with large orders like in Snap? Yes, Joe, but first you have to find the stocks that are moving before you could actually go out there and follow the orders. Now, um, listen, we're running out of time here. And um, so I want to just get through this really quick because I need to get, uh, I didn't realize that, to, my God, it's almost, almost an hour already. You know, it's amazing. No one left. That's when you know you got a good crew of people that I really got your attention, okay? So I'm very, I'm very happy for that. So thanks for sticking around. Um, time in sales. Very important window, okay? This is the confirmation of every transaction that takes place. So remember I was talking about how people think like orders are fake, like how do you know order got canceled or whatever? Because anyone could cancel an order. Well, the time in sales is a very important tool. Actually, the chart gets its data from time in sales. So when you're looking at time in sales, you know, and you're looking at the orders on level three, basically you want to see if those orders were canceled or not. So we got them segregated in two colors, green, the transactions that go off on the, on the ask, Red are transactions that go off on the bid, okay? So let's go back to o, uh, OX, a Y, all right? So looking at this stock right off the bo bottom, we could see that we have a pretty big substantial buy right here at $15, right? Um, got 128,000 shares. So in theory, right off the bat, you will know that that's a support level without looking at any chart, right? So let's go to the chart. Now, right here, you'll notice it went past 15. What happened? You said there was a buyer 128. Yeah, there was a buyer 128. Since 230, up until about 330, eventually the stock went down. You know, stocks do trade, okay? So what happened here, the guy must have got executed. He was out there. He was buying it. And in theory, you would say, you know, that's a big support level. But what happens if somebody, a big mutual fund comes in there like, dude, just get me out of the stock. Or the CEO says, listen, I need a new extension on my house. Hit that guy. Get me out of it. Okay. So do you ever, do you ever like, you ever like uh, wonder like how these stocks break support levels? Well, a support level is built on buyers and sellers. But buyers, you can break through a support level. How does that happen? A buyer gets executed. That's how that happens. Okay. Uh, question. Uh, so how do I get level three access? I just checked with my broker Schwab. Level two is all they have. Well, listen, don't worry about your brokerage account right now. Don't worry about Schwab. Um, I'll be able to, at the end of this presentation, when you come in my trading room, I'll show you what, how to get it and go from there. Listen, my goal is this. I'm here to teach all of you to get your attention that it's time to stop having the wrong brokerage account, the wrong education, having the wrong broker and stop losing money and start or getting out of the wrong market that's not working out for you 
and surrounding yourself with good traders, have the right tools and how to do it. But before we do that, let's just, let me just spark your interest and get you focused on what's going on. So the bottom line is this. How do we know that stock was going down? Look at the time in sales. Look at all the reds. Red, red, red. 25,000, 1,600, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000. The guy is getting executed. What do you think is going to happen? I mean, yes, he's out there. It's a support level. But if someone sells it to him, it's going to go down. Let me ask everybody a dumb question. Did you ever, did you ever go out there and um, you ever do a trade? Like trade you Sometimes like, you, know, you feel like somebody's watching you. It's like every time I buy a stock, as soon as I buy it, the thing goes down. Soon as I sell it, the damn thing goes up. Ever happened to anybody? Anyone, ever, anybody know what I'm talking about? You ever sit there? Mark, you know what I'm talking about? Mark? Okay. You want, me, you want me to answer that question for you? You want me to squash it so you'll never feel that way again? It's not that they're watching you. You are not watching them. That's your problem. That's the answer to the whole thing. You're thinking, you're thinking what's happened in the past. You're not looking what's happened in the future. So if you looked at the future, you'll have a game plan. It just makes sense. It's like a light bulb should be kicking in right now. Listen, sometimes I feel that way all the time. Well, listen, um, you just have to basically have a game plan. You just got to have a game plan and, and you just got to know what's going on. So listen. Another thing that you have to understand, another big failure rate why people make um, and why they're not successful is that everybody's trying to hit a home run. Nobody ever thought about a 50 cent, you know, profit is $500, which is a, a $100,000 salary. Could you imagine 50 cents? It's all you, look at the stock GNUS that we traded. At 9.30, it ran from $4.50 all the way to eight bucks after what? I don't know, about 30 minutes. Do you really think that I need to make $4 on this trade? I mean, I'd love to, but I'm not in the business to make $4. I'd rather buy it at $5.50 and sell it at 6 You know what? I'm not here to be at a Jimmy Buffett because you know what happens in Jimmy Buffett's? You get diabetes. You get obese. You're not going to be too healthy. But everybody wants to go to Jimmy Buffett because they, gotta, they have a great option, but that's not what it is. You go get, your, get what you need and get out of there. Because guess what? The outcome of it sometimes does not always work in your favor. All right? You don't have to make a lot to be very successful in coming in trading. Uh, if he was buying at 15, uh, then why did he equally fall under 15 specifically on the long run? Well, well Steve, regarding about that question about 15, I don't know if the guy was short. He was covering a short. Whatever. It could have been a short squeeze. It could have been, it could be a lot of different things. But I, I, it's not my job to kind of analyze and figure it out what that guy's game plan is. All I know is it's called the KISS method. Just keep it super simple. Focus on your 50 cents or your dollar a day. That's it. All right, so let me get right to the end, guys, because I got to get ready for the close uh, of the market. And I want to get back with my traders. Let me just get right into it, how I can get every one of you in involved so I could teach you how to successfully trade in 30 days. Okay. First of all, everybody, I'm warning you right now, you're going to need a mentor and you're going to need more than one. All right. Um, you got to sample a couple of people out there. Don't be, don't be settled on one. Hear a couple of them out there. Eventually you get the light bulb. I don't know if you got the light bulb with me. If you didn't, that's okay. I get it. You know, Maybe it's my burnt nose my wife yelled at me. She says, put some cream on. I don't know. Maybe my, the way I look, I don't know what it is. Um, but listen, everybody, ha you have to adapt to somebody. Um, I'm just telling you something right now. I just, I'm just the type of guy that I don't play games. Um, I, don't, I don't sit there and pat people on the back, you know, and try to say, hey, it's okay. We'll make it back tomorrow. I'm not that kind of a coach. Listen, um, I'm a very aggressive trader. I, I, want, I hate seeing people lose money, and I'll be there and help as best as I can. But, I, but you guys got to sample a couple of mentors to find that out. But you cannot do this by yourself. And let me tell you something. Here comes the dream. It's not a full-time job. 
It's really not. You could spend more time with your family. You could do the things you enjoy in life. There's so much you could do. You know, I mean, look at the coronavirus. How many people? I mean, are you really depending on this $1,200 stimulus check? Are you kidding me? How many of you here think that you're going to be able to live on Social Security? Are you, I mean, come on. They can keep their Social Security check, okay? You can keep your $1,200 stimulus check. You give it to those other people. I'd rather sit there and I can make $1,200 a day. I don't need to go and truck myself back and forth to the city, you know, pay a train ticket, deal with traffic, you know? I'd rather like to sit in my little, you know, actually it's not very little, it's my, my nice, nice big house and, you know, and be able to come and go whenever I please. That's basically what it comes down to it. Now, to also tell everybody this, is this is also very important too. Um, once again, I'm not here to knock other schools, okay? But I'm just going to warn everybody right now. Please make sure you check with brokerage firm, the schools that you're doing business with. Make sure they're endorsed by other brokerage firms, okay? I just heard a school out there that was doing business with, uh, with some prop trading firm. Um, it was a short trade because people couldn't, you know, day trade because they had a day trading account and the company went out of business and it, all these people lost all their money, okay? And they're very well-known schools out there that were promoting them. Please, um, NASDAQ would never have Fausto Puglisi on their TV show if they thought I was teaching people how to lose money. Tasty Trade, Think or Swim, Charles Schwab. I've done presentations for every single one of them. I don't need to sit there and put caps and, and, and say, hey, I was on CNBC. Because uh, uh, they just want content, okay? They, don't get, they can't get in trouble having you know, anybody on there. But these brokerage firms, they do credit checks on you. They check out your social media. Believe me, they rip you apart. So just be careful what you read on the internet. Don't believe everything you read. But these brokerage firms, are more, uh, they do their homework. They have a lot more to lose you know, from, the, uh, from the FTC and, and the SEC of getting in trouble. So I want to stress that out because I get people all the time. They're like, what makes you better than another school? I'm like, well, who endorses them? They're like, uh, what does that have to do with it? It has everything to do with it. You think Charles Schwab would have Fausto do a presentation in his booth because I teach people how to lose money? So very, very important that you do that. Now, um, let's get right into the trading room. What I want to do is this. Don't ask a look at my run, okay? Because that's all bullshit. Excuse my French. People are like, oh, let me see your run. Listen, anybody could give you fake statements. How do you know they're really fake? You ever heard of a guy named Bernie Madoff? Yeah, how did that work out for all those billions of dollars he stole from some of the richest people? Listen, you want to see the facts? You come in the trading room. Don't count my money. Look at the other traders in the room and see if they make money. And see all these people that you saw that look exactly like you. Listen, if I could teach a 90-year-old grandma out there can make six figures, I could teach you to do it. It's not that complicated. Okay, you follow the diet, you do well. But before you make that investment, I want everybody to come in, watch us how we pre-market, watch the commentary, and then you'll make a decision if trading's for you. So going out there and buying a NASDAQ book viewer and paying $15 a month for it, you know what? Let's go out there and let's pay $9 first. Give me one week, one week, that's all I ask. You don't gotta be all week, one day, one hour. Right in the open is more than enough to convince you if this is for you or not. And this, by the way, is you're going to get. You're going to get, get a day trading crash course. You're going to get access to the, the cyber group trading room for a whole week. You're going to get three daily market meetings, a morning and afternoon watch list. And yes, you are going to be able to talk to somebody. Okay. You know, it's amazing. I like, I hear, I hear people like, you know what? I bought a course for a thousand dollars. No one ever called me. They saw me like all these videos and they, I look reputable. Listen, you can't talk to somebody there. You're obviously in the wrong business. I'm still old school. I feel like customer service is very important. You know, you put money on the line, you should be able to talk to somebody there. And not only that, but you'll get, we're going to do a live Q&A training session. And guess what? After the week, if you want your $9, you could have it back. Trust me, I don't need your $9. Okay? I really don't need it. Now, for the first 20 people that register right now, I will even personally give you a free coaching class. Think about that. 
Why would Fausto want to talk to you after spending $9? I mean, I, I make millions, okay? What do I need to talk to you for? You know why? Because I need to interview you and see if you're qualified to really do this because a lot of you aren't. Once we, once we go through that part, then we'll go, and then we'll decide if trading is for you to move forward or not. So that's how you do things the right way. Don't go out there and make these, these dumb mistakes that people do all the time. So anyway, $9, you got nothing to lose. Let's go out there and let's trade. All right. Um, I got about two more minutes. Does anyone have any questions? Uh, uh, Terena has a question. He says, I'll be back when I have 25,000, uh, was not be able to answer my email that I sent. Okay. I'll answer right now. Uh, uh, Tiana, listen, don't worry about the $25,000 $25, day trading rule right now. First of all, it doesn't apply to everybody. And secondly, you could still, you know, what's cheaper 25,000 or $9. Okay. Don't worry about, that's the least, you know, people like, well, brokerage firm, should I have a brokerage firm? No, you don't need a brokerage firm. Forget about the brokerage firm account. Don't, you don't need any of that junk. All you need right now is $9. That's it. Let me show you the truth behind it live in the market. And then you make a decision if you want to move forward before you go out of your way and try to, you know, open up a brokerage account and, you know, bring, you try to save some money. Listen, you could still do this, you know, with, with a small account. Not as efficiently, but you can still do it. Uh, any, other, any other questions? Now, a couple of people are registering right now. Let me do a couple of shout outs here. Uh, let me see what I got here. Uh, all right, so we got Andrea. We got another Andrea in the room. He's our baker from tech, uh, from, uh, from uh, Toronto, Canada, from Utah. Welcome aboard. Just got your registration. Mike from Chicago, just got your registration. Oh, you guys type fast. Now, listen, guys, when you fill out the, when you fill out the question, um, uh, register, there is a questionnaire that comes along with it. Very important you fill out a questionnaire uh, because it's going to let us know a little bit about you. It's going to help us advise you a little bit better. It's only about five questions. Let us know if you, because listen, we want to make sure that what you're doing, you're really qualified to do this, okay? So we don't want you to go out there and, you know, make a big mistake. Uh, so please let us know a little more content about you so we can advise you what's right and wrong. Uh, okay. What is the link again? Navi, okay, yeah, he just posted, uh, Rich, uh, one of our advisors just posted that link up there. You could just, there's a short version. You could just go to... This one right here. All right. You can also call us at 877-70-CYBER. It's a lot faster, though, to do it online. All right. Any other questions, guys? Listen, day trading is a great job. I love it. It gave me the freedom to spend more time with my family. Honestly, I think it saved my marriage because, you know, I spend more time with my family a lot more. You know, I was able to let my wife stay at home and work from home, you know, uh, I mean, work and take, I mean, take care of the kids while I go out there and, you know, not stress out over work all day. But what I found out is you got to do it right. You really got to do it right. Um, Tim, regarding about the 149 a month, listen, after seven days, if you want to continue, you pay the 149 a month in the cyber group room. If you don't, don't worry about it. I'm not going to make you flyable hoops. Listen, Tim, I don't need to scrutiny. I got a five-star rating on Google. If you don't want to continue, don't continue. If you do get charged, we'll refund you money. Listen, it's, it's, it's easy as that. All right? But some people like it and they want to continue, and they'll continue with it. That's all. Uh, any other questions, by the way? You're more than welcome, Tim. Listen, I'm a man of my word. I, I, I have a lot more to lose than you do, okay? I have a reputation that I, I like to keep. And, um, you know, and one of the big things I told you, when you get into the trading room, not a lot of people are in there because we don't, we don't force everyone in that one shot. It's very hard to train people. And you don't want to be in a room with a, with a lot of people too. It's just chaos. It's actually manipulation, believe it or not. Um, you don't know what the guys are doing the other side. You know, that's basically what it comes down to it. 
Uh, Michael says, I just signed up. Hope, this, uh, hope I get to speak with you. Uh, Michael, listen, looking forward to it, Mike. You know, I'm going you know, to be honest with you. I'll tell you how it is. You fill out that questionnaire. You get in the trading room. Listen, the big thing about being in the trading room is this. Don't judge us on our winners, okay? I want you to judge us on the losers, how few we, we, how we get in and out of them, because that's one of the biggest things that we kind of train you. We don't train you how to make money. We train you how to stop losing money. That's the big thing you're here to learn. Winners take care of themselves. The losers you got to worry about. Naviz, you just signed up. Well, welcome aboard, Naviz. You just got it. Yeah, I see it. You got your, where are you from? Uh, people are coming in here. Oh, Michael, there you are. I see you. From Vancouver, BC? Let me tell you, there's a lot of people in Vancouver, uh, from Canada. I've been going to Canada for the past 18 years. 20% um, of all the traders in my room are all Canadians. Okay. Mark Marino, thank you very much, Mark. I really appreciate your comments. I'm going to share that with everybody in the trading room. Uh, is the real deal. Biggest thing he taught me is how to limit my losses. That's really the most important thing out there. You guys got to understand when it comes to trading. Uh, thank you for your presentation. I first saw you in John Thomas' seminar a couple of weeks ago. Uh, the biggest issue is the losses as my winners are three to four times losers. Well, listen, Paul, um, are you journaling yourself? I mean, we have journal sheets that we give our traders. Are you, you know, let you know, are you, are you scaling yourself into certain things? There's a lot of things that you have to do. You know, think about going on a diet. You know, I always tell everyone this. This is what really should sell everybody. When you, anybody ever go on a diet? Okay, so I, we all have, right? I mean, I've been, I've been on, you know, I, I've been on a diet for forever. But you know when I started learning how to lose weight? When I started getting someone involved in my life, okay? Now, um, no one would ever think of getting a, a personal trainer. Some of them are expensive. But you watch people on Hollywood, you're like, how do these guys have such great bodies? And like, and these women, like, they look great. I mean, like, I mean, because, not because they're naturally beautiful. They, they pay people to keep them in shape. They work out with them. It's part of their job. You know what I mean? And you know what? If they look good, they'll be able to sell more movies. You know what I mean? And, and they, they have to look good. It's the same thing with trading and, and, and a diet. You know what I mean? Like when you start getting someone involved in your life, now they have an obligation to work with you. So you got no choice but to be there. It's the same thing with trading. When you start getting involved and having people on your, watching you now and working with you, trust me, they're gonna, we're going to force you to do things that you probably wouldn't do if we weren't there in the first place. And that's what makes you a great trader. Uh, Virginia, you just signed up right now, Virginia? No problem. Welcome aboard. I got a couple of people here that just registered. Uh, Alan Thompson from, oh, another people, Calgary, uh, Alberta. I, I love going to Canada. I've been to Calgary. Banff was awesome. I also went to a small town called Red Deer. I don't know if you ever heard of it. I had a student up there I, I went to go meet. Um, I have not, okay, I got... Jose uh, Joseph from, I can't even pronounce where you're from. I'm sorry. And that's an, out, an outside country. <laughs> okay. Uh, who else we got going over here? We got uh, Guy Jones from Spring, Texas. Just got your registration. I'm just looking on my phone. So looking at the emails. Um, same thing, right? Uh, Michael from another person from out of the country. Bahrain? Oh, okay. Wow. You'd probably be the first person from Bahrain. I told a lot of people from the middle, middle East. All right. Uh, any other questions? What is the cost of seven days to stay with the CTU? If you continue, it's, it's $149 a month. And if you don't want to continue, just let us know. We won't charge you. If you do get charged golf a bit and you want to cancel, we'll just give it to you. It's recorded. You have it. Uh, once again, Matt, by the way, Mario, Mark Mario is not – an employee of CTU. You're all going to get to meet Mark Mario in the cyber group room. Okay. And you know, what's even more important is this here at cyber train university. We're like a family. So we all look out for each other. So you're going to see when you come in the morning, everybody's knowing everyone's business. We're all talking together, but when it's time to trade, you know, all bets are off. So if you, you know, you want that type of an environment, you know, this is really where, uh, this is the type of atmosphere that we kind of uh, work out there. Uh, are you showing live demos? No, Jerry. I don't know what that means, but if you're talking about demo, no, everything we do is live in the market with live trades. Okay. 
Silver says, thank you. Very good presentation. Well, thank you very much, Silver. I look forward to seeing you in the trading room. Remember, listen, guys, it's $9. That's it. $9. You got nothing to lose. Come into the trading room. This is the original trading room that I started. By the way, if you see anything similar to it, a lot of them are my students. Okay. So if you see the same technology, the same chat room, there, a, lo a lot of them, you know, some of them copied CTU, but um, some of them are our students and they're, and they're proud to say that they were because we're well, great to love to have graduates that continue the, uh, what's going on. Okay. All right, guys. So with that said, I got to go, I got to run. I'm sorry. I went a little late. Thank you for listening. I'd like to thank the staff. Uh, I'd like to thank Edcorn Wealth that also helped to make this possible and all other partners that helped us made this possible. Uh, listen, I look forward to seeing you all guys. Remember when you register, you are going to get access to an education advisor. This is going to walk you through a couple of videos. We want you to make sure you know what you're getting yourself involved in. We don't want you to get confused when you go into the room. We really want you to have a great experience. And we want to hopefully uh, convince all of you that if you do it right, you can do this for the rest of your life. But it all starts here. All right, guys, thank you very much. See you all in the trading room. Thanks a lot. And uh, see you soon.